This week's episode, we have a look at this 18948 Rolex Day Date Masterpiece and we get a client with a crazy negotiation. Do you think we get the deal done? Watch to the end to find out. But first, let's head over to Love Luxury Headquarter where this lovely couple bring five Hermes to sell to us. Today we've had a client walk in with five Hermes bags. Let's see if we can get a deal done. My name is Susan. I've come to Love Luxury to sadly hand over five beautiful Hermes bags. We'll go through them one by one. We've got the Birkin 35 Noir with gold hardware. As you can see, a very popular bag. Everybody wants this bag. We've sold quite a few over the past month or two. You've got the Kelly 35, also gold hardware. You've got a, a vintage box calf Kelly. You don't see these very often. Look at that. One of my faves for today is this particular particular one here. I love the colour. It's very neon-ish. I think it's definitely great for this season, summer season, and anywhere hot around the world. It still has the stickers on the class. Brand new. It looks like it's unworn. Another one to look out for, guys. Don't forget, this will be on our website soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And then our fave, one of my faves, sells all the time, Birkin 35, gold, gold on gold. Very popular bag. A lot of people go for this when they're first buying an MS bag. It's a very neutral bag, goes with every day, so you can wear it every day and fit a lot inside of the bag. We've seen some impressive collections here at Love Luxury. We always make sure to give our clients the best service possible as they're putting their trust in us with highly valuable items. This deal included three to four bags, so we need to make sure to do our due diligence in order to come to an agreement that's both fair for us and most importantly, our client. So how come you're selling these beautiful pieces? It's a big decision, but they were really investment pieces and now is the time to put the money in the bank. Great answer. An investment piece means they've been hardly been used and that's what we like to see here at Love Luxury. We are noticing an increasing amount of people using Hermes handbags to invest their money. The Birkin bag outperformed both S&P 500 and the price of gold in the last 35 years. Crazy, right? Adam and Maria are clearly experts in their field. We had a long conversation, um, a bit of negotiations, but I trust them impeccably. So they're in very good hands. This lady had multiple pieces, so I had to take in account all the factors to make sure we price everything correctly. After a long, tough negotiation with this lovely lady here, we finally managed to close the deal. We are going to start doing the paperwork and these bags will be available on our website soon. So if you're interested in any of them, get in contact with us. Thank you so much for coming in today. We have been speaking for almost a week now, so it was really, it's really lovely meeting you. And hope They're very important to me, so I hope they go to us. Um, one very careful lady owner, so I'm hoping there will be one very careful lady owner that wants to take them into their possession. Hopefully. I promise you they'll go to very special clients like yes. yourself. One very careful lady owner. 100%. Guys, these bags are this age and look at the condition of them. If you're interested, let us know. And in the space of just 50 minutes, six new MS pieces were sold to us here at Love Luxury from our clients. Thank you so much. The process was so easy, so simple, everybody was so kind and understanding that it's a big deal to say goodbye to them. I would thoroughly recommend Love Luxury. And in the end, we finally came to a deal. Just moments after we closed the five-bag deal, another client walked in with yet another Hermes piece. She wanted to sell a Birkin 30 in the leather Epsom and the color is chocolate and it's palladium hardware. Um, I had a look at it, it's M square, which means it's a 2009 bag. I have to make sure I check the exact condition of the bag and what it comes with can give our client an accurate price. Okay, that's fine. You happy with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. After assessing the client's bag, I was able to give an accurate quote. Got a beautiful piece here, classic jumbo caviar. It's a piece I got in 2018, and then I'm ready to sell it because I want to invest it into business. Mm -hmm. And I'm just here to see if you're interested. Of course, let me have a look. Oh, hello, Love Luxury. This is me, Mariam. I just come here today. I've got my beautiful handbag caviar that I wanted to sell. So it's a classic flap, which we specialize in. We do love classic flaps in here. It's a Chanel jumbo classic flat gold hardware and it's in the leather caviar it's in a lovely condition as i can see corners are good hardware is actually really good for a 2018 bag let's see the inside i come across these bags all day every day we buy and sell over a hundred of them per month and so i thought this would be another easy deal this morning but i was in for a huge surprise you've taken really good care I only of this bag. 
right. all time. So, my sister's wedding and that's it. Uh, I didn't even want to sell my piece, but I know that it will be coming to a great hand. So how much are you looking to achieve on this beautiful bag? <laughs> I just think we're, we're too far apart with prices. Are you negotiable on your price? I could go down a bit, knowing that it's in a great condition. It's mm -hmm. only been worn mm -hmm. one time, so it's like brand new. Okay, to be so honest. for real, I actually don't want to offend you with my offer because um, we do pay less than that on it. My offer on this bag would be. Mm. A bit too small for me. Yeah. I expect a bit more than That's that. That's how much we pay on a jumbo, especially if it's not microchip caviar. After back and forth with the client, I realized this is going to be far from an easy deal. Jumbos are not as easy sellers as medium and small. Are you in a rush? Because I'm looking to invest in my business, which I'm yeah. trying to launch right soon. Mm -hmm. So I was just looking to expand it, make it a bit bigger, maybe sell the handbag and yeah. invest it and just... I mean, I can offer you slightly higher on consignment, but it wouldn't be anywhere near... I could, just to close the deal, I yeah. could go, I'm looking for... It's excellent condition. It is an excellent condition. Oh, time, I, I, I actually, I'm with you. It's in an excellent condition, but it's just because I we do give yesterday. we do give a lot of discounts. Anyone that asks for a discount, that's why we buy them because we know we can sell them for that price. Jumbo is a very hard seller. Uh, people are going for medium and classic. I can give you slightly higher if it was. You must, baby girl, because I know this is a great. I can place. offer you on consignment and that's on consignment which is basically we try to sell it and then and within how long you think i can't promise you a specific day or date but i wouldn't overprice it so for example if i offer you on consignment i would list it thousand and then literally the minute the sale comes through i would sell it to the person even if they asked for a discount we would give it from our fee and then get you paid i just can't go this higher is brand new literally it's, it's, it's pain in me I'm, i have to sell this it's, it's hurting me that's how it is that's how it but is but the thing is i only wore it one time and i got all the piece and i'm like okay why don't i just sell it and invest the money but the, that's the, a smart choice to do which is yeah. sell it and invest the money and a lot of people have been doing that this is it's a business at the end of the day we you know we have to pay the right amount at the end of the day I don't want I, I wouldn't want to pay an amount and then for the stock to just sit and not sell I agree on mm -hmm. it I will accept f then you guys I don't know how much you want to sell it for if I'm you you could buy it and you just wait for the right customer to come because it's brand new some you know some of them they're a bit used to but this is like literally brand new wallah I only use this one her asking price was way higher than the market value of the bag and she did not want to budge with the price it made for a tough deal I had to give it to her though she's a feisty negotiator guys I was watching your video yesterday. I'm so inspired about your beautiful work you're doing. Oh my God. I love Emily's beautiful car. You know, I use it to, you know, to find out the way to get here. So please, I've got a great offer for you guys. You just do something, please. Okay, so if I call him now and I tell him I took a consignment, he's going to be like, you took a jumbo on consignment? Do you want to hear tell it? About, tell him about the, how excellent it is. I promise you, we you see guys, them on so warm. <laughs> So I'm gonna call Adam and see what he thinks. I know he's gonna kill me for giving these kind of prices, but lovely lady here, we have to take care of her. A few inches later. So Adam didn't answer his phone call as usual, so I'm gonna go upstairs and speak to him. He's in a meeting right now, so let's see what he says about this beautiful bag. Hi Adam. Hello. Hi. Hi. Sorry to interrupt, but I called you and you didn't answer. I was upstairs here finishing off a job interview with a potential employee, and Mara came asking for help closing a deal with a tough client downstairs. Meanwhile, we had a lovely couple all the way from Dallas, Texas, who bought a Rolex from us. They want to have a look at some of the watches, so let's have a look. Hi, I'm Jackson. This is my wife, Sutton. We came all the way from Dallas, Texas. Yes. Particularly, I'm interested in the white gold GMT yeah. and the Daytona on Oyster Flex. Yeah, no worries. I mean, one of my favorite two pieces. Actually, this piece is one of my favorites, so. Both of them are 2023 pieces. Both of them are in an unworn condition, box papers. We actually got them in the past two three days so i know they're going to be going real quick so this is a rolex daytona white gold on an oyster flex bracelet and the dye they call it ghost dial just because of uh, the silver with the black chronograph Very nice. such a lovely piece 2023 unworn uh, the strap is uncut and comes as a full set and it's priced for 36,000. We'll do some comparison and then yeah. see what. So this is very nice. Can I see the uh, white gold GMT please? Sure. So this is a Rolex GMT Master. It is in white gold and it's a 2023 piece on an oyster bracelet. Such a beautiful piece. I mean, I really like the Pepsi, which is the steel GMT Master. And this is just beautiful. To be honest, you chose really nice 
two nice watches. So it really depends on what you want it for. I personally would say this is more of a daily watch. The white gold GMT is more of an occasion watch just because of how heavy it is. I think you can feel it on your um, on your bracelets yeah, just because it's full white gold, sorry. It's got a great wrist presence yes. too. But it does suit your wrist so much. How much is this one? This one is for 35,000. Which one do you prefer? I think I like the Oyster Flex. What was the price on that one? Great choice. 36,000. Any room for negotiation on that? Uh, truly depends on how how are you going to pay for it. Amex? Okay, so on an Amex, unfortunately, I can't do anything. It's just because we do price our watches to be at the lower end of the market. Our profit is very minimal out of it. And on an Amex, we pay 3% charge on the transaction. So on an Amex, that would be my best price. On a bank transfer, I can just remove the charge. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. What do you think? I love it. I think you deserve it. You work hard. And it's a beautiful piece. Definitely. <laughs> I like that. Do you want to have a look? Do you want to try it again? Yeah. Since you're really interested in this. All right. I think I'll take it. Thank you. Great choice. Sorry, I don't shake hands. So sorry. So sorry. Just because of my religion. Yeah. But I can shake your hand. <laughs> okay. So no worries. Let me just go get the box and the card and everything before making the payment. Congratulations on your new watch. Thank you very much. No White worries. souvenir to remember London. <laughs> yeah, I just bought my latest piece, a 2023 white gold Rolex Daytona on Oysterflex. I'm very excited to wear it home and always remember this trip by. Thank you guys so much. We've got a lovely lady downstairs. She's got a Chanel Jumbo Classic Flap Caviar, as you can see. It's 2018, 26 series. It's in a very good condition. She's 29 series, no? I've got nothing on. 26 series, 2016, 17? I think it's 29. She wants which is not possible. I offered her She wants um, which is unrealistic. I offered her on an instant payout or on consignment. She said she would take five but we've been negotiating and she's like you mean very bank transfer. Bank transfer, yeah. You should cash up. Yeah, I, I mean cash as in a bank transfer. That's what she said, that's why it's just stuck in my head. What do you think? I'm gonna have a quick look at the year because you said mentioned it was twenty six series, right? Twenty six series, yeah, it's twenty six. Okay, maybe twenty six older. Yeah. yeah. She's a very, very lovely lady to be honest and uh, yeah, you'll understand once you meet her. But she is she's been watching our YouTube as well and she came here especially for you, Emily and Moo. So let's get a deal done for her. Of course, yeah. As much as I like to get a deal done, guys, you know how I like to do deals. The most I'll be willing to pay out on this bag for the client today would be... Okay. Adam had a look at the bag and shared his opinion. I took that advice and went back to the client. <sighs> you guys are making me run up and down. I told Adam that we have a very lovely lady here and we need to get a deal done on it. So paying you instantly as a bank transfer or as I agreed with you on a consignment basis. I didn't you try harder. I Did I not try harder? Um, let me speak to him. Instant payouts, would you do? We wouldn't be able to do that, right? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Adam's coming downstairs. He's the negotiator. Guys, I got a headache back. How good of a negotiator you are. Watch Adam now. I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Guys, Marius called me downstairs. She has a tough client. Let's go downstairs and see what's happening. Okay, the most popular is like medium. And then small and then jumbo. The jumbo clients are more based in America, to be honest with you. Because oh, um, that's true. After some back and forth with the client, I realized why Maria called me for backup as she was a fierce when it comes to negotiations. But luckily there's no negotiations that are too tough for me. Finally got the deal done. <laughs> I told Miriam my price, but she wasn't happy with it. So me and Maria, we went back and forth about the pricing. I didn't want to let go, but I know that I'm a very good negotiator and a resilient person. But eventually I let go because I'm happy that it's going to be going into the hands of Love Luxury. For that reason, we just closed the deal. After two hours, probably the longest negotiation I've ever seen, the deal was finally closed on Marian's bag. That was definitely interesting. So I've had some clients walk in today and they've come to look at some watches and bags and we've took, taken out this beautiful watch here. I love the Mitrak dial. To be honest with you, it's just something um, that I would buy over and over again. Any Mitrak dial. 
Like many other clients, this family had a very high interest in this piece. They were really nice people and wanted a small discount off the price. So I double checked my figures on this piece. Voila. One of the prettiest watches I've actually ever seen in my life. Watches. This is a masterpiece. You're the watch that guy, right? Have that you that ever seen anything like that in your life? Factory yeah, set, just, um, uh, meteorite dial. I actually had a couple of people that yeah, I know in the watch market that right. came to me yeah. just to see this watch in real life. I've seen it on a different dial, but not with a right, combination so. of this dial. Masterpiece meteorite is a piece like no other. It has a factory set diamond bezel and a meteorite dial. Steal on that one. Just came an hour ago. So we've just closed the deal on this beautiful meteorite yellow gold watch here. Thank you so much to the client for coming down. If you're looking for any Frenchies, Miss Ball 57 has just purchased this beauty. We've got a client here. We've dealt with her before and we've purchased some handbags from her before. She's she's coming all the way from Bahrain to sell us these four handbags. So let's have a look at them. The first bag is a Birkin 35 and crocodile and it's in a blue color. I'm not sure what's the official color, but it's in a very nice blue color. The second bag here, and I don't think she wants to sell it and I don't blame her because it's a very uh, nice matte alligator Birkin 35. Again, I'm not sure of the color. It looks like a band, but we'll figure it out later. Third bag we have here is a Birkin 35. Got my opinion on this bag already without us putting it through authentication. <laughs> so the client has got her concern whether because they're not her bags and she's got her concerns whether they're genuine or not. But to avoid, um, I mean, I don't mind putting it through authentication, no, but no. so you don't have to pay for it. I can just let you know yeah, whether it's, if, it, if I'm 100% yeah. sure, I'll just let you know whether it's genuine or not. So this one, yeah. I'm 99% okay. sure it's not. <laughs> okay. Uh, we do have a customer that puts a picture of the bag on her boxes but I've never seen anyone that puts a bag on the dust bags. If you've got a lot of bags and you don't know which one of them is which, you can just put a picture on it. This is also a Birkin 35. It comes with this felt which means it's a vintage bag. I'm not sure about this piece to be honest. This was a fully suede Birkin 35. I don't think I've seen one before in person. Let's just wait for Adam to come uh, down because he's the expert. Let's give him a call actually. Yeah? She spoke to you. Um, can you just come? I just wrapped up my podcast with Gila Beauty and Maria told me four more bags are arriving downstairs. So let's go down and see what they are. So this particular one, I'm not going to put my gloves on because I need to feel it with my bare hands. Just understand the texture, understand the bag. It's something I haven't seen before. So it's something I'll have to do research on just to have a look into it. But I can't authenticate it by the stitching, the hardware, and this material is something I'm not familiar with. So I will have a look now. Even though we came across thousands of bags a year, to this day, there's still a few that are rare and that I've never seen, although it's very uncommon. This one here, um, I'm not too sure, but I have an opinion, um, but we will put it through authentication because I have a good feeling about it. So let's see. Let's have a look at this one here, the Birkin 35. The client has um, is happy for me not to wear gloves so I can feel the material on these. Um, they are from the offset. I can see this isn't a genuine bag. I can tell from the stitching. I can tell from the hardware. I can tell from the plate as well as the feet and the the not laser stamp. So we're going to put this one away. This doesn't need to be authenticated. Next up we have once again, client has agreed no gloves. You have to look at every little detail in the bag to judge if it's authentic, including stitching, material, shape, weight, and even the smell, guys. However, this process comes naturally to me. So now after having seen so many, this is how you become an authenticator. So this one here will get put through the authentication because I have a feeling that this bag is a good bag from Hermes. Let's put it through. Let's get the client's authentication papers done. You can either sell it in the future or keep it and use it. It's a great everyday bag. I do love this bag. It's a great color, great hardware as well with it. And my throughout the free, this is my favorite. Every bag goes through authentication, no matter our opinion, just for peace of mind for you guys, our lovely clients. This one here, I've had a look. I have an opinion. All the skins are different. All the cuts are different. So I always look at the cuts and the little dots here um, and how it sits. I have an opinion, but we have to put it through to confirm that if it's genuine or not, especially when the client is here for an authentication service. But I'm 100% confident that one of them isn't. I'm confident with, with these two that they are. This one here, I'm 50-50 at the moment until I do a deeper inspection, which I'll do when you guys are not watching. Hi, I'm Jonathan, all the way from Sheffield. I've come to Love Russia today, proud my wife Natalie with a, a Chanel bag. So we've had Jonathan come all the way from Sheffield today to surprise his lovely wife with a Chanel bag. It's a small, 
black caviar gold hardware. Such a classic piece. I'm so happy for her today because it was a bag that she really wanted. How do you feel? So shocked, so surprised, so lucky. Thank you so much to both of you. Thank you. Well, I really appreciate it. Jonathan has made such a big effort. We've been talking for around a couple of weeks. He's um, following us on TikTok. So he's um, he understands who we are, what we are, how we operate as a business. And I really appreciate Jonathan coming all the way down here and using Love Luxury. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. I really, I really appreciate it. it. Thank you. There you go, Ashley. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Congratulations on your new bag. So this is a Chanel small classic flap caviar gold hardware. One of the most classic pieces in Chanel. Oh my goodness. And it's in box fresh condition. Box. Thank you. Of course. It's never been used. Congrats. Thank you so much. Do you want to try it on? Yes, please. Okay. You're never going to forget this moment because it's going to be on camera forever. <laughs> so Jonathan and Natalie, if you're watching this in about 10 years, thank you so much once again. Thank you. One thing I'm um, really um, like cautious on is closing the bag. Mm -hmm. So in closing it, behind there's a plate. That plate can very easily scratch the front of this bag. So it can just okay. show the plate. Oh, oh my goodness, so <laughs> amazing. So Thank you. So what's your plans for today? Off to Buckingham Palace and afternoon tea at Harrods. Wow, <laughs> afternoon tea at Harrods. You know we love Harrods here. Perfect. Thank you. Right, what number are you? Thank you, guys. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Thank you so much, Jonathan. This is the best surprise. Thank you, Love Luxury. Uh, the team have been super nice, so helpful all the way from the first message to organising to come down here. A. Adams even at my park today, so it's been absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Everything about the care and all the documentation. I'll be definitely coming from Sheffield again to deal with these guys. The attention to detail has been insane. They showed me how to delicately open and close the bag to protect it, to look after my new amazing piece. Thanks guys. Thank you, bye. Thank you so much guys for watching this week's episode. Make sure to comment your favorite part below and see you next Saturday. Bye.